Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining in details on to a how to select a production process. So that will be the basic steps required for any production technology or you can say manufacturing processes. So that will be the some of the fundamental discussions on to these theories. So let us start with the detailed explanation. So first of all, starting with the shape and size to be produced so in that case for products with a simple shape so that will be the best suitable production process and that will be machining so by the unwanted removal of the materials from the raw materials and that will be converting into the desired shape and size so that will be the best suited method as a production method and that will be considering as a machining then for the complex and integrate shapes so at that time it will be casting is to be preferred so casting that will be also the fundamental manufacturing process or you can say production process that will be used to manufactured to complex and integrated shapes so such kind of shapes that will be having a difficulties to machines so that's why we are most preferring methodology and that will be casting then the size of the product is also an important factor so as per the requirements of the applications the size of the product if it will be the extremely small size so that will be the some another manufacturing process if it will be the large size of the components so it will be the another manufacturing process so as per the requirements of the size of the products it will be having a different kind of production processes then just you can see here it will be the one example long product such as rails or you can say thin product such as car body panels so can be best made by a farming process as compared to the other process so basically in a production process the starting with the machining process so that will be considering as a all the cutting process and that will be conventional cutting or you can say non-conventional cuttings or you can say advanced cutting processes then you should also use some of the casting process which will be having a big size of the components as well as some integrated shapes that will be easily manufactured then you can also use a powder metallurgy process and you can also use a forming process or you can say shape changing processes so basically that will be the first that will be known as a shape and size to be produced so that will be the one of the factors for a selection of the production processes then second one quantity to be produced so both the machining and the castings can be used for producing large quantity of the products but are not suitable for the small quantity of the products as they are not economical so in case of the machining and castings or you can also add a powder metallurgy process which is having a good production and that will be only feasible with respect to the economical consideration for only for a mass production so if it will be the number of quantities it will be into the larger size then and then it will be having a good feasibility so second one that will be quantity to be produced then third type of materials so material processes various properties like ductility hardness toughness brittleness etc so which kind of material is being selected for a workpiece materials according to that it will be converting into desired shape and size so as per the selection of the materials that will be selection of the production processes so the hard materials cannot be machined easily so you should go for a powder metallurgy process or you can say you can also use a casting process to manufacturing of the such kind of components so brittle materials cannot be mechanically work or you can say that will be not forming process is being used because that will be the least ductility so at that time for the brittle materials you should preferring a casting or you can say most preferable that will be the powder metallurgy process in such cases casting is being preferred or you can also use the powder metallurgy process for a brittle materials so that will be also having a good mechanical properties 
then surface finish and dimensional accuracy so such kind of things according to the dimensional accuracy that will be the requirements as per the shape and size so you need to control that so for that casting with expandable molds does not yield good surface finish so however if casting process is being selected so it should be followed by machining process to obtain a desired surface finish as well as the dimensional tolerance so after the casting process there will be the requirement of the secondary operations or you can say some of the machining operations for increasing the surface finish as well as the dimensional accuracy so as from the requirement of the surface finish and dimensional accuracy you should select a uh, such kind of process then quality and property requirements so basically a defect free product with specific properties so its purpose for a long life so that will be the essential requirement of the any production house so properties of the cast materials are generally less when compared to that a mechanically work materials so in that case of that casting process or you can say cast materials so that will be having a less as compared to the mechanically work so as per the my requirements of the application wise i would like to select such kind of production process so which will be preferable as per the economic consideration as well as the durability of the product so without compromising with the quality of the products and that will be into the minimum cost so such kind of production house or you can say production processes is being selected so also casting gives a lots of defects hence a process that gives better properties and quality should be selected so as we already discussing on that without compromising with the quality you should go for a economical production processes then last one an important one cost of the product so customers often demand for the products with more features and the performance at a reduced price so that will be the always you should go for the minimum price and for that you can only controlling on to the selection of the productions method because our material you can say selected materials that will be only depends upon the requirements of the product and that product it will be having a under the loading conditions so we are not compromising with the selection of the materials so we should only controlling the which kind of production process is going to be used for manufacturing of the components with the best quality with minimum price so that will be the essential requirements hence a low cost production process should be selected but at the same time see that no compromise is made in terms of the quality so we already discussed that so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you